Boy oh boy, what I'm about to show you now is something that's already been put on YouTube and has been done before. But I'm going to show it anyway. I took out the crocodile just to make sure he doesn't get in the way and kills me. So, cannonball! Honestly, I'd, I'd much prefer to have him as um, crocodile meat in Florida, maybe. Here's what you gotta do. You could slip through the gate very easily. <laughs> yes! Push! Just pop through the water. <laughs> Way! This is Mondo Cool. I love it. <laughs> so cool. By the way, you can I think you can slip back out. Oh. No, you can't. Hmm. Oh well. It was worth a show anyway. I spy with my little eye. Two words beginning with I and B. I tell you what it is. If I don't die, I spy an inactive bat. Look at him. He just does absolutely nothing. Even if I go above or below him, just see for yourself. Nothing at all. What is the deal with this bat? Is he in eternal slumber or maybe he died uh, hang, while hanging upside down maybe? Who knows? Who knows anything? All I know is there's this bat that's never going to come to life. Ever, ever, ever. Case closed. Look at this. Another inactive bat. Just like in St. Francis Folly, we got another turd in the punch bowl. That is all. Take a look at what happens when you get burned for too long. Okay, that's one stage. Oh, the flames are invisible. How did that happen? Hmm. Maybe if I exposed Lara to the flame a little more. She's burning faster. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Would you look at that. The flames have really been fanned on her. And how the hell are the flames invisible when you go out there? Oh, let's just, just uh, die. Incredible, isn't it? Prepare to be amazed. Just as soon as you start the Tomb of Tihokan and hold down the square button.
See? You jump above the water just as soon as you start a level. What do you think?